Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square by the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Thursday, March 14th, 2024. Um, we're covering the cases. We're covering them hard. Uh, uh, on the Menendez case, which for now has a trial date of May 6th, uh, yesterday, unsealed, but still redacted. Uh, that's classic Menendez. Was uh, one of his motions with two sentences that his lawyer says must remain redacted, otherwise it would taint the jury pool for the May trial. What could they be? They seem to involve his wife Nadine and the spousal privilege, but there's also Egypt, Qatar. In any case, we've written the story. You can uh, find it out. Still no decision on McGonagall, Charles McGonagall's bid to delay his surrender to jail for his 50-month sentence for 11 weeks, but we're covering that closely. Um, Donald Trump's uh, 91.3 supersidious bond uh, was approved uh, formally by Judge Kaplan. So he, that, that, that bond is just going to sit there while the appeal is pending in the Second Circuit uh, right behind me. And in action today, finally in the crypto case of ICOM Tax, David Brand and another, uh, we covered the closing arguments yesterday. Pretty vicious presentation, pretty, pretty damning. But we'll see. Um, there will be I, there may be a verdict today, and we will be covering it. We'll also be covering a couple of sentencings. One's a sex trafficking guy called Pascal. Uh, another one are some guys from the Pure Armenian Blood Gang. Uh, we've covered that case. Uh, yesterday there was a contrast. There was a sentencing in the building behind me, Forty Foldy Square, of Seth Market. So it's a, it's a uh, insider trading case. There were a lot of fancy people in suits there to cover it because. Uh, he, he, his girlfriend was from the Covington law firm and he looked at a binder and he found out about a merger with Merck and he shared the information and he was an FBI special agent trainee, he was taken out of Quantico, he was arrested. In any event, he got 15 months. As he was leaving the courtroom, as this entire group was leaving the courtroom, across the hallway in front of Judge Fela's courtroom was a man in shackles being taken out. And there was a case in there that I also went and covered. Uh, a totally different case, a Bronx drug case in which a guy had filmed himself in the MDC Brooklyn jail uh, on Instagram and the government had raised this Instagram video to the judge saying it should result in a harder sentence. Across the street, a guy called Virgil Wardlaw got 15 years for trading fentanyl-laced black market drugs for sex with an underage girl in the Bronx Park Motel. We covered that case very closely too. So there you have it, 15 years, 15 months. Um, today was supposed to be the sentencing of uh, Cleaver Alcala, a Venezuelan narco general, um, has been put back into April. Uh, he's attacked the Fatico testimony of a guy called Arvalaez, who is uh, Carlos Orense. It's a lot of names here. Carlos Orense, uh, his main, main man dealing drugs. All of this is on the th theme of narco drama, which we just finished covering the, the Honduras trial of Juan Orlando Hernandez, former president, convicted, his wife now running. We're still continuing it. El libro, narco drama. Estamos siguiendo en eso. Hoy va a ser el, el, la sentencia de, de un, un narco venez, venezuelano, um, Alcalá, pero se aplazó hasta abril. Estamos en eso. A continuación, Inner City Press on the cases.